I'd like to call this board meeting to order. I would like to begin with asking um, Ms. Boyle to please lead us in our prayer and pledge. Please stand by. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today at this meeting and we ask that you watch over us, our decisions, everything you know before we do, just guide us, give us your wisdom, give us your strength. We also have families and children in our community that need healing. They also need comfort from lost ones. Please watch over them and do what you can for their peace of mind and their children's peace of mind. In Jesus' name we pray. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, Ms. Boyle. To begin our um, meeting today, I'm going to start by um, passing the gavel and handing it over to Mr. Cowart. Thank you, Madam Chair. At this time, it's our reorganization, so and I would ask for nominations for Chair of the Board. I nominate Tammy Boyle. I second. I move nomination cease. Okay. We have a motion for and a second for Tammy Boyle to be chair of the board. So at this time, with nomination ceasing, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, please say aye. And aye. aye. Any opposed, please say nay. All right. Congratulations, Mrs. Boyle. So. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. At this time, we'll open nominations for vice chair. I nominate Mr. Aspel. I second. Okay, we have it. Do I hear any other nominations? I vote. Say cease. Seeing no, seeing no other nominations at this time, having a motion for Mr. Aslow to be vice chair. I'll ask for a vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, please say nay. Congratulations, Mr. Aswell as vice chair. And now at this point in time is also the time where we set our days for and meeting times for our school board meetings. So I'll open up and hear for a motion on those. I make the motion that we meet the second Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m. and the fourth Tuesday of the month at 9 a.m. Do I hear a second? Second. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second on this. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed, please say nay. All right. At this time, we'll reorganize each other. So, and I will pass this important piece of equipment <laughs> to our chair <laughs> to handle. Is anybody cold enough? Huh? Gather up your fancy chair. <laughs> You want your water? Yes, ma'am. Pass the waters down. Pass the waters down. At this time, I will ask that we take a vote for number four, the adoption of the agenda. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> motion passes. At this time, I'd like to welcome any visitors that we have in the board room, or if any one would like to come up and speak to any of us right now is your opportunity. Seeing none, we'll move on to number six, the award for the bids and Mr. Stockman and Mr. Lamb. Good morning. 
morning. Good morning. Good morning. Additional paper just to have so you can have in front of you what we were. Thank you. Okay. Stuck together, good. Yeah. <laughs> There's two stack letters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we're here this morning to uh, ask permission for the bid for the Fest uh, eyeball for CES, CMHS, WES, WMHS. Um, so we had a pre bid meeting on the 16th of November. We had two uh, contractors come to that meeting, and uh, Bobby Lamar with Lamar Brothers and Carl Jones with Jones Mason. And the reason I mentioned because there's only two. And then we had our uh, bid opening the 27th, which was yesterday. We only had one bid, which was uh, Carl Jones Mason. So, um, do we want to go over the... Uh, you can if you if y'all want to. So let me ask you a question real quick. You had two at the thing, and then only one showed back up with the final bid. That's correct. Definitely. Yes, ma'am. And okay. I also reached out to some others by phone uh, and in person that just said they did not have time to meet our deadlines, be able to get the job done, so they was not interested in in bidding. This is something we're doing to satisfy the findings of. Uh, uh, civil rights ADA audit and we have to have this completed by before school starts back after the break so it was kind of after the Christmas break experience. yes sir. Mm -hmm. okay so really fast so and that's some of the things that oh, yeah. played into it but uh, and we we had several you know CES had three different sidewalks uh, the high school achievement <coughs> had one sidewalk WES had two sidewalks and the high school in Wilson had two sidewalks, so it's kind of a. And they all and they priced it out separately. And we also had a price, uh, had them bid a price, square foot price for future projects. So, we, if we have something else this fiscal year, we should not have to go back out to bid. We okay. got a square foot price, and we accept and move forward with this. And that was on the tabulation sheet. So, so we're asking for uh, approval to award this to Jones Masonry. I make a motion to approve. Do you have any questions? A second. How, how soon are they able to start? Uh, we're not 100% sure because they can start at the, some of the sites are at ball fields. So they, they will be able to start those, you know, at their convenience and get a little bit of jump on it because they're not inside the school perimeter. The ones inside the school perimeters, they won't be able to start till break. They may, may do a little preliminary work, but. And they rope it off. If yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's, and it, that's, they'll probably just do some layouts and measuring, not actually any right. construction. Okay. Right. Till, till school gets out at the Christmas break. Okay, that's the board. Um, to make a motion to accept Jones Masonry. Okay. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. Next, we have Miss Lake for the audit reports. <laughs>
So we'll start with our internal account audit report. This is where they audit the financial statements of our school-based internal accounts. So we received uh, an unmodified opinion, which simply when the auditor expresses that the financial statements are presented fairly in all material respects and in accordance with any applicable financial reporting formats. So that's good. We had two material weaknesses. Last year we had three. One of those was downgraded. Um, the two material weaknesses are ones that we have had in the past that are pretty hard for us to prevent. We have put layers in to reduce the likelihood of any fraudulent or negative activity, but we can't completely separate duties. We do not have enough staff. So we've got one for separating duties. And then the cash reporting timeliness, that's one we get every year. It's, it's hard sometimes for um, teachers or, or whomever to get the money into the um, bookkeeper within, I think it's two days. So we work on that, uh, getting that better and better. So we have two recommendations that are called management recommendations. One is the purchasing and cash disbursement process, and then we had a school that had some missing supporting documentation for some activity that they did. So this year, we were happy to report that um, Bronson Elementary had no findings. Chiefland Elementary had no findings. Bronson Middle High had a couple. Um, they had four instances of where funds were collected and held by a teacher more than one business day. So it's 24 hour turnaround time. They had two instances where the um, approval, principal approval, didn't happen prior to the check being issued. So that's probably an instance where the PO was in the system and it wasn't approved because they needed the check quicker and we have a, a check request form. But it's just not one that auditors like to see. And then one instance um, where we were missing the approval on an actual uh, check request. Cedar Key had three findings. Two were just uh, funds collected and held by a teacher more than one business day, and then one instance of funds collected not having all the receipts. So we're required um, to give receipts to an individual when they give us money, and the auditors actually look at all those receipts, supporting receipts, and the receipts should match up to your deposit, and when one is missing, that's a problem. <coughs> Uh, Chiefland Middle High School had uh, four instances. Two were um, purchase orders were not properly signed, and then two instances where payables were, um, let's see, how do I want to say this? The supporting documentation didn't match the payable. So they, they didn't have all the proper supporting documentation. And that can happen. It's probably stapled behind something else. It's, it happens. Um, but there were other ways to prove that that was a factual um, payment. It just didn't have all the supporting documentation. JPE only had one, and they just um, were missing some documentation that was part of a test compliance. And then Williston had several. Um, theirs are all the you know, same as the other school. They had an instance where uh, funds were collected and held by a teacher more than one business day. Uh, they didn't have the correct documentation for test compliance behind a cash receipt, and then a, pro a purchase order, one purchase order wasn't properly signed. Um, one instance where a principal didn't give prior authorization. And these can all happen for a variety of reasons. It sounds like a lot, but this was a really, a really good year. And even the auditors were happy to downgrade one of those findings from the prior year. It's just something that we continue to work with the schools with every year, and the schools continue to work with their teachers. And I'm sorry, those I just read to you were Wilson Elementary. Wilson Middle High had the most, um, and they were all in those same areas. Two instances of teachers uh, holding cash longer than the business day, some missing receipts, um, and some um, check request form that wasn't signed. So those are all, they, they, the bookkeepers get these in a meeting and we go through each one of these with them. So they are aware of the kinds of things that are coming back. And Yankee Town just had two, um, cash held by a teacher more than one business day and then some missing documentation for an invoice. 
So I know it's a lot of information, but we were very happy. The auditors were happy because what they're seeing is these instances are decreasing. Um, so we just need to continue to work with our bookkeepers and remind them the importance of ensuring that every activity they do, all those uh, boxes are checked. Does anybody have any questions about our internal audit report? Why does Chief from High School not have a line item for football? Everybody else that has a football team has a line for football. They choose, they choose how their internal accounts are reported. What, I'm not sure what you're looking at. Well, we'll still have one. Yeah, I, I, just, at some point you got to pay for the tickets come in through football. The tickets what you're at? I'm looking at school internal account schedule oh, changes okay. in so fund balances. Because Chiefland has a different, they choose to bring those into their general general um, okay. athletic. Would be my assumption. I um, don't. That would be my guess. Okay. The yeah. overseas internal accounts for my department, but we don't okay. dictate necessarily how they set those accounts up, except for any fundraising activity has to be accounted for a little bit differently than your your athletics. Okay. Okay. I just I thought maybe we just didn't it didn't get on there. That's all. No, I, I would guess if it's not there that they choose to have theirs come in their general athletics. And like you said, Mrs. Lake, I, I know it sounds like it can be a lot, but also when positions are going through transition at the school, which I've personally seen at Cedar Key, it can be hard to um, get those deposits in, like you said. So there is that too. That try to keep in mind so I I'll need a vote for no, this no okay. voting this is it's informational only. Information. and I'll move over to the charter schools those are real easy they both got the same unmodified opinions so the auditors felt like their financial statements were fairly represented and neither one of the schools had any Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Um, at this time, are there any public comments that need to be brought to the board? Seeing none, we'll move on to approval of the minutes. Board members, have you had a chance to review the minutes for Tuesday, November 14th? Yes, I'm in approval. Second. Okay. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes for the minutes. Okay, we'll move on to the consent agenda and I will start with Mr. Whitehurst. Do you have any questions regarding the consent agenda? No, ma'am, no questions. <laughs> I, I, that's where I like being last. <laughs> I'm used to me being on the end. Yeah. I'm kind of big too, kind of like. Yeah, that's it. And I got a special chair. Mrs. Brookins, do you have any questions for the consent um, agenda? Thank you very much. I have spoken with Mr. Coward and everything's been answered. Thank you. Okay. How many questions Mr. I'm good. Oh. Um, I just had one quick question that I didn't get a chance on the. No, I'll wait. I'll wait for the other on 11 to ask that. On number 10, all my questions were answered. <laughs> Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. To move. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. The finance items on the consent agenda, are there any questions from anyone? No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay. Um, Mr. Cowart, just on the final PDF. So this is it with Chief of Middle High? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's exciting. It's exciting and great mm -hmm. on this release and affidavit. Is there a motion to approve? I motion, this? make motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes for the finance consent agenda. Mr. Superintendent? Yes, Madam Chair, thank you. Um, I will point out, so obviously this is, uh, as we bring this Chief of Middle High School project uh, in for landing, we actually have uh, folks from DOE who are here so this week that are out visiting our, our schools doing a fish report so so they're they're out at been they came in yesterday so and mr lott's helping uh, accommodate that along with breezy and, and mac so and i think we also had pat reedy yesterday and johnny pitts that were going out and about taking them so um you may see them if you're out and about so they'll be visiting our schools all this week and, and working on that, that fish report uh, and bringing that so uh, along with that, so um, you see the different student trip requests uh, and coming in and the things. So we had uh, a lot of success at the Nashville Convention, and I know we touched briefly on, on that uh, at our last board meeting. So, but uh, it is that time of year um, where we're headed into sub districts and, and those type of things, and so I know there'll be, be a lot of competing going on um, through all of our schools with that. And then I noticed that you you, you just uh, approved, so uh, there'll be some students that'll be traveling for AVID this week down to Orlando, so and being able to see some different schools. So it's just another opportunity to showcase and, and kind of widen the horizons for our, our students, for them to see the different things that are out there. And then along with that, in February, there'll be some trip requests coming through on students to be able to go through and see different jobs in the construction industry, so heavy equipment and things like that. So once again, just trying to bring a well-rounded and provide all different types of career tech and also college opportunities for our kids. So, and we couldn't do that without the, the help of our foundation and, and the different partners that, that help and go along with those things. So uh, other than that, Madam Chair, that is all I have to report because I know some of you are anxious to, to get on your way to, to Tampa. So. Thank you, Mr. Cowher. I'll start with Mrs. Brookins. Thank you. Um, we, Chief on uh, Middle High School had a great turnout for the um, junior um, parent night, and they were really happy with um, everyone that came out. And I know they have another one um, planned for uh, parent night for sixth through twelfth grade. So um, I think from the reports I heard, everyone had a great Thanksgiving break, and you know, ready to get back to school and um, get everything done before Christmas break. And um, looking forward to our conference in Tampa and everyone going and um, safe travels down there. And we're all planning um, to get together on Wednesday. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Brookins. Mr. Whitehurst. Um, I said I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. We got a little relaxed and hit that last uh, three or four weeks of the year. Uh, looking forward to going to Tampa. Um, I said I know a lot of school. You know, have uh, FFA sub districts coming up, like Mr. Cowart said. And, the Wilson FFA, they're having their like Thanksgiving or something they're calling it, a party tomorrow night. Merry, um, Merry Thanksgiving. I Merry Thanksgiving, that's, that's what it was. I know it was something like a thing as a, as a <laughs> mash to them. Um, so I said all, all that coming up. And I said the uh, football team had a good year, unfortunately. Like I said fell a little short to Hawthorne. So, so unfortunately, Lotro County School, we got the better Levy County. But, um, I said we back strong, and like I said uh, basketball was kicked off. I think Wilson's three and zero on the men, the uh, boys, not men. And uh, I said all the other girls are doing good. And just uh, like I said, busy time. And like I said, I think all the I know the junior Wilson junior class had a good cake auction. I appreciate the support from the board. And uh, other than that, I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. Madam Chair, if I might piggyback off. Um, Mr. Whitehurst, so I'd be remiss without thanking so uh, Lieutenant Long, so and the sheriff. So we had uh, 12 deputies along with Mr. Gore and, and Mr. Lott there on, on Friday night. Probably the biggest crowd to see a football game oh, yeah. in Levy County for sure in a long time. But we were able to have uh, everything went off very smoothly. So had uh, good participation. Mm -hmm. So no no issues uh, out and about, no extracurriculars that we didn't want to happen. And appreciate also the Alachua County Superintendent and Sheriff sending five of their SROs or deputies to, to help with it. So, uh, Absolutely. Mrs. Clemenzi. Um, Yankee Town, I mean, now the, this, it's a hard time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I tell my kids too, you just, it's just grind time. You just have to focus and that's what they're doing down in Yankee Town. They're preparing for testing, um, doing progress monitoring. Tomorrow night's WOW night, which is working on work. 
which I love because it just prepares the teacher, lets the teachers get prepared for um, 2024 part of our school year. So um, basketball season is in full effect in Yankee Town also. So um, lots of good stuff going on. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Asbell. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, Bronson High School is having a tough patch right now. We just heard it mentioned FFA sub-district contest is coming. We don't have any FFA advisors at Bronson. Um, but you know what? That's not going to stop us. We've had a bunch of people volunteer from our community that will coach kids, have a team ready to be there. Uh, we're trying to put all that together, and that should be commended. Absolutely. Um, the other thing is this this right here, you may have heard me talking to her earlier, Miss Hudson. I uh, was on her Facebook. I think this is a great thing. She is looking for uh, what you call them games, games for kids for Christmas. And I know in each school, each school has little projects. Um, we have a tremendous amount of kids throughout the county who have needs. Uh, I have been very fortunate in my life. My children have no wants, no needs because they are spoiled rotten. But there are kids. <laughs> There are kids that over Christmas break will go home to no food. There That's are right. kids who will go home, and, and I always like to tell the story of my daddy said his favorite Christmas was he got a pair of socks and a cap gun. Didn't get any caps for it because they, were, they didn't have any money, and you didn't get to wear the socks every day. Those were, most of the time you didn't wear shoes back then, and when you wore the shoes, uh, the socks, it was on Sunday. Um, we have a lot of kids that same way. They'll get a pair of socks, they'll get an apple. My dad always said, yeah, I got an apple or an orange. Somebody got a banana, but we never got to have it because that became ambrosia for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have kids that, that need, and we are blessed people. So I encourage people to support um, ideas like Miss Hudson's um, for the games that will involve parents, um, those kind of things. So I encourage you to do that. Um, she obviously got that idea from some Bronson people because you know, it's just the way that goes. <laughs> but that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and, and, and I can't wait to see y'all in Tampa, Florida. It's going to be a big time. And hey, you keep it calm this time. Okay? <laughs> I'll do my best. All right. That's all I'm saying. Out loud. Yeah, that's all I'm saying out loud. Out loud. Um, so I just have a couple things that happened before Thanksgiving break. I mentioned about the junior pie auction in Cedar Key it was a success and board members I apologize I did not know that I was going against our superintendent the same night I couldn't <laughs> see him raise his paddle I mean you up the price you ran the price <laughs> up. I did it against Devin too and Willis oh, <laughs> okay, um, so that's my fault but it was a good time and, and they did raise a lot of money um, also the 4-H public speaking district contest happened and all the kids did great I, for their age to get up there and speak and some of them just to have a speech completely memorized in elementary and middle school is mind-blowing um, but a special shout out to Cedar Key to students fourth grader Eleanor Huffman she received the first place and also Cedar Key um, Ren Adams for sixth grade received first place in the speech contest so they were um, they were thrilled and it was it was great to hear all of them I'd like to also say thank you to the Levy County School Foundation um, Cedar Key did get a bunch of grants there were one two three four teachers um, from third grade to the business hospitality to the economic to journalism that because of these grants um, the kids are getting to go on field trips updating equipment um, for the journalism to live stream the sport the sports which is great um, the economic class is going to learn about starting their own business and the business and hospitality they purchased a poster printer for all the functions that they have in the fundraising so um, a big shout out for all those the grant monies and I just want to say personally I appreciate this opportunity to be chair um, just show me a little grace <laughs> I'm not as fast 
as the seasoned um, chairs before me, but um, I will do my best and try to stay on task. And uh, I, I just I appreciate this opportunity, and I really look forward to doing the best job that I possibly can. Yeah, and I will I will do that for everyone. You'll be good. And if there's any other business, we'll adjourn this today. This meeting is adjourned. I pass the gavel to me. At this time, so we'll open up the Levy County Finance Authority, so an appointment of a president and secretary. So at this time, I'll call for nominations for the president of the Levy County Finance Authority for the 2023-24 school year. I nominate Tammy Bull to be president. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second, if no further nominations. So at this point in time, all those in favor of Ms. Boyle being the president of the Levy County Finance Authority, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, please say nay. Okay, I'll pass the gavel. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. Now we need to all ask for a motion or nomination for the secretary. Make a nomination. Any nominations for the secretary of the Levy County Finance Authority? I nominate Chris Cower. Second. I have nomination. Any other nominations? Nominations cease. Mr. Cowart, I have as a secretary. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Meeting adjourned.